guys, this is Adrian again and today I'm going to make a um, video of it to show you how to install the Cyanogen uh, Mod 10 Jelly Beat 4.122 onto your Samsung Galaxy Ace GTS 5 will start, please make sure your device is GTS5830, otherwise the GTS5830i, GTS5830c, ZAC, um, it doesn't support on it, um, please make sure you don't simply flash it. And one more thing, please make sure your device is install the clock mode mod 5.0.2.6 and yeah, you can start flash it right now. And now plug in your device to your computer using the USB storage and you can start to connect your phone to your PC. So I've got the ROM zip file here and the G apps for Jelly Beans. And one more thing is the performance stick here. It's called a Pin My ROM V2. And you can download the, all this in the description. Um, and yeah, for the pin my ROM, I'm uh, gonna do this as usual. Please follow the steps below. And yeah, and you can now um, copy all of this to the SD card. While I'm copying the files to my SD card, so I'm gonna tell you the change log of the 19th of October release. Um, the Android is upgraded to 4.1.2. The ZRAM is working. And for the CRT ops animation, it's working thanks to the BEI BLTV.3. Um, yeah, and a change from CM as of the 16th of October 20. And the most interesting new features is XML cache is better performance, a new battery style like a circle. You haven't tried it, so and the uh, head, head size is 64 MB now, heat growth limit is 32 MB now and back to standard GPS config so I can't wait to try it right now as you can see I'm down and still copying sorry about my computer is slow and yeah and I will be back when I am done so yeah and yeah it's gonna done it's gonna done it's gonna finish yeah and uh, Come on, it's a little bit more, it's a little bit more, yes. And now you can unplug your phone, uh, disconnect your storage from your PC, and yeah, unplug your phone. Mm -hmm. And please wait, the media scanning finish. Gonna done. And yeah. Okay, now you can put your phone to the recovery mode. Okay, this is the Clockwork Mod 5 and yeah I'm gonna wipe three things um, first wipe the data and uh, yeah a factory set and second thing is wipe catch partition scroll down down to the advanced wipe the big catch and back you can press back by pressing this back button or you can just use the back button here I mean sorry the home button uh, the power button here and I just use this back button and scroll down you're ready to install the ROM choose file and install the CM10 and now I'm done um, yeah once again install the GS for jelly beans And yeah, it's done. So I'm going to do the performance tweak here. It's called the Pin My ROM V2. I've been using this for like a few days ago. Um, I didn't see any big difference, but it prevent the launcher redraw. It works on the stock ROM base, um, the custom ROM like uh, CM9.1, CM10, and CM7.2. Um, you can try it on the iOS ROM, but I don't think. Um, it need this is because the iOS ROM is fast enough <laughs> and yeah you're going to install it like a normal thing and yeah you come up with this thing you're going to use the touch screen 
and press next I agree next and choose the base rock. I'm currently using the jelly bean 4.1.2 so next um, you can choose what you want to install please follow the steps below to the tree XDA tree so now I'm on the way to install it just press install it right now it's finished and uh, press finish button mark the reboot my device now so yeah so guys um, this is the first boot you might work for like two to three minutes yeah and I will be back soon to make a wrong review of it maybe at night because I'm going out later yeah now nah. please subscribe my channel for my ROM review and I will see you in my next video bye